Pontifex Maximus. The Pope made history in December 2012 with the first official tweet from his Twitter name, Pontifex. So if you go to twitter.com slash pontifex, you'll find the Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. So why did he choose this name instead of another one? If you ever visit Rome, you'll notice a number of the buildings and statues there have an abbreviation, Pont Max. So here's the front or the facade of St. Peter's Basilica, and you'll see there Pont Max referring to the Pope. Here's Trevi Fountain, which again has that abbreviation, except just Pon Max, again referring to Pontifex Maximus. Here is just inside the Pantheon is a insignia for Pope Pius IX with Pontifex Maximus abbreviating his title. And this is actually in the Roman ruins near the temple of the, the Vestal Virgins and it is the house of Pontifex Maximus or the high priest of Rome. Pontifex Maximus is a title that actually predates the Pope by a number of years. It literally means highest bridge maker. It refers to the high priest of Rome. The highest bridge maker is the person who would bridge the heavens and the earth. It became the title for Roman emperors with Caesar Augustus, and prior to that it was an elected office that Julius Caesar held as well. Well, around the third century, bishops began to be referred to as pontifex or, or priests. And sometime around the fifth century, maybe before, Pope Leo the Great was given the title Pontifex Maximus, and it was no longer given to the Roman emperor or political ro roles. Prior to that, in, in ancient Rome, people were forced to worship the emperor as a um, god, and the title Pontifex Maximus only led to that people believing that he was a god and a very high priest. So the church took on the title Pontifex, or Pontiff, as we refer to it in English. And so today the Pope is referred to as the Roman Pontiff, or in Latin, Pontifex, or Pontifex Maximus. And thus that's the reason why Pope Benedict XVI chose the Twitter handle Pontifex.